according to Toronto police officers. 15-year-old Mario Giddings, whose parents are St. Lucian, was fatally shot near a plaza just outside a police station in Etobicoke. Police say it was a targeted attack involving multiple rounds of gunfire. The incident occurred near the apartment complex which he resided in with his aunt. Giddings was shot Monday, the day before he was to return to school. According to his aunt, Giddings was afraid to return to school due to a fight he was involved in previously. In an interview with CTV News, a parent of Giddings' friends indicated that youth from a different neighborhood had conflict with youth in Giddings' neighborhood. His mother, Leah Serafin, says that she gave birth to Giddings in Canada, but brought him back to St. Lucia. At the age of 10, she says her son indicated that he wanted to return to Canada. Thus, she sent him to live with his aunt in Canada. However, she never expected his life to come to such a violent end. Mario, he had like a lot of friends. For that one, he had like a lot of friends. He loved his friends. But when I call him, I was talking to him, I was Mario, you have to leave your friends. Your friends, um, they're giving you bad, bad advice. I have to leave the friends. And friends. I was talking to him about that. The mother says she last spoke to her son on Saturday. He also told her that he wanted to attend a different school due to fear of retaliation. I spoke to him the Saturday and he told me, Mom, I, want to, I don't want to stay in that school. That's the school that I'm not trying to trouble me in the school. So he wants to change his school. So I tell him, well, ask, talk to your auntie until we do that for you. And after that, um, the Monday, I, um, the, they shot him. She is calling on all St. Lucians to put down the guns and put God in the center of their lives. Kidding's grandmother says that she has not been able to sleep or eat. She admits that she did not have a close relationship with Giddings. Nevertheless, the grandmother broke down, recounting her last interaction with him when he came to visit the island in 2020. He was there with me. He come, in, oh, he come in there because you see the house there. He always there with me, talking with me. He back all his grandmother. He was always there with me, talking with me. Giddings was a past student of the St. Aloysius R.C. Boys Primary School. Teacher Dennis Leo is imploring young men to stay focused in order to make a positive contribution to St. Lucia. It is sad that, you know, a St. Lucian going overseas trying to achieve something ends up dead in that kind of way. It is really sad and, I mean, we have a situation in St. Lucia and it seems to be a global thing now. Everywhere around the world, people are just, young people are just falling to the gun. You know, so I am just appealing to the young people, you know, stay focused, get off this six and seven and all this kind of violent attractions. Focus on school, focus on achieving stuff, get your, your minds, you know, in more positive things. Giddens would have been going to grade 11 at the Western Collegiate Institute. According to Giddings' mother, no arrests have been made yet in connection to her son's murder. Giddings was the youngest of seven siblings, six sisters and one brother. Giddings' mother says she is awaiting documents to travel to Canada to bury her son. For the DBS News World, Miriam Montu reporting.